I see a belly. I see a belly. Hey, hey, guys, guys. <laughs> guys. Cut it out, guys. <laughs> cut, it, cut it out, guys. Cut it out, guys. Love me. Say, wake up, Daddy. Wake up. Wake up. Say, rise and shine. Hi, Wake up, or you're not coming to my birthday. Happy, happy. If you don't wake up, you're not coming to my birthday. Well, your birthday is in my house. So I'm how happy. are you not going to have <laughs> me at your birthday? You don't want hot cakes? No. I don't think you stop rattling as your spokesperson. <laughs> what? Well, Why don't you want hot cakes? She isn't my friend. She's my sister. Well, Am I right? Both. Yeah. Why don't you want but, hot cakes? But the friend okay. I'm talking about Say daddy. is my school daddy. friend. Uh -huh. Say daddy. Daddy. A hot cake. Uh -huh. Blood. Blood. I have blood. Blood too. Hey, hey. Hata, Hata, Hata. You're mine now. Nobody else can have no, you. Daddy, no, no. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't show you in your boxers, huh? I guess I shouldn't show you in your box or so. It depends on whether you want to get a lot of subscribers or not. <laughs> Daddy got us some breakfast. I'm, we're vlogging today for real, for real. I've done pretty good so far, I think. And I, and I put my own clothes in the washroom. You sure did. And, and, I, and after washing something, I wash, wash them. Wash, wash, wash. <laughs> sure are. Yeah, Daddy got some breakfast. Got some hot cakes and some eggs and some sausage and biscuit <laughs> and hash brown and it looks deliciable. Um, so what's on the plan for today? I look a mess, so I'm gonna sh show them you. I don't know what you're doing. What are you doing today? Building. 
all day. I thought we were going to... What? Oh, and we're going to the party store? Yeah. We're going to go to the store to get JJ's party supplies for her party. Because yeah. next week is super yeah. busy. And yeah. I don't know if we'll have time. Um, yeah, because and it's so much more Because it is. June 11th. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, we're, we're going to go there I want today. To make something with it. I'll just show you guys my face. You guys don't judge me. Okay? I'm pregnant. Please don't judge me. I know this. Oh, yes. I never get pimples, ever. Like, even as a teenager, maybe like, you know, the occasional like bump, but this is like legit. And I'm not ready to extract it yet, so you guys are gonna have to deal with it. When I get pimples, unfortunately, I don't cover them up. I let them breathe, so you guys gotta deal with it. Anyways, I know my nose is dry too, but I've been dying lately, so. I feel, I've been feeling really good lately, so. Anyways, I'm gonna go there. I need to attempt to clean. Michael is, she said she didn't, she wanted to not cut up. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we and, um, work on laundry for Jalen. She starts summer school, um, on Monday, which is the 6th. So do I. Michael starts summer school too. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you and daddy start summer school on the same day. Why? It just worked out that way. You're gonna have to get up even earlier for summer school. Summer school starts at eight o'clock. You normally leave for the bus at eight o'clock. So that means your bus will probably be here like, like. And now I'll have to wait. Seven thirty. No, I'll actually get up. Okay. I don't get up in the summertime because I don't got to. My, you just got burritos. Happy, happy. Are you happy? Yes. We got some food. Mmm. I mean, what's sexier than a man doing dishes? <laughs> a man with this kind of body doing dishes. But then your belly pokes out when you flex. I like it. I like it. It got me going for a little bit. Me too. Oh. Hi guys. Half so happy. Today we're gonna go to the party store. Half so happy go. But you gotta get dressed. Uh no. Yeah you do. Bye guys. Hi guys. So I'm gonna get dressed. I'll be right back. Bye bye guys. See you later. Say I'll miss you. I miss you. And give him a kiss. Good job. Oh, my God. 
Michael cooks amazing spaghetti now, you guys. He's gonna be like top shelf chef by the time this and pregnancy's over. And that's how we play in the in the water. We did that too. Yeah. This is our dinner provided by Sweet Sweet Michael. It's, it's making my tummy hot. Spaghetti and sweet potato. You're happy. We got, we got some ice cream. Ice cream? No. Yeah. Your naked belly? Yeah. <laughs> Today's got some. Is it good? Yeah. Why is it a lot of peanut butter? Yes. Thanks for that. Yeah, yours doesn't have any peanut butter in it. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's vanilla. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to go. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. I'm happy. You're happy? Uh, it's That's so all she has to say, Thank is that you. she's happy. I got some shopping stuff today. For my uh, birthday. You're happy? Yeah. Cool. Ha happy. You eat your ice cream? No. Why not? Because yeah. Because what? My guy. Mm. Good. Okay, so that is gonna end the vlog for tonight. Um sorry we're getting a rough start back to vlogging, but I just I feel really bad and I can't pretend. I'm not a good pretender. And I popped my pimple and now it's like crusting over it's disgusting i'm sorry i know there's a bunch of people that like hate when i look horrible or look like this this is normal for me on the vlog i'm sorry you you should probably not watch for like a couple couple weeks but um i don't know anyways i feel like this pimple is gonna drive me crazy um yeah we're trying to get back to vlogging and i do because i do now miss it i know before i said like oh i stopped vlogging and i didn't miss it i do definitely miss it i miss you guys i miss interacting with you guys and i also miss um excuse me the memories that i was able to capture from the kids just playing and just doing normal things so the goal is to definitely go back to vlogging multiple days like we were before it's just really hard right now because we have a lot of stuff going on and michael cannot pick up a responsibility like vlogging well, he, he does vlog, but there's a lot of stuff that goes into YouTube besides just picking up a camera. Um, he can. He's offered to. He's done an amazing, like, an amazing job so far with everything that's been happening. So, with him working full-time and obviously monetarily supporting our family, um, he is also doing all of the cleaning, majority of the cooking, and if he's not doing the cooking, it's because we've but you're like ordered out or something like that so i mean he's doing the cooking the cleaning taking care of the girls he's really doing it all i just don't handle pregnancy very good in the beginning um and we knew this was gonna happen it just yeah here it is i did not expect it to come so soon i normally get also i'm gonna talk about this because i'm actually gonna hopefully film an update a pregnancy update video uh next week but I normally don't start feeling sick until the second trimester and it's always horrible but I'm kind of happy and I'm hoping that since I am actually sick in the first trimester um, that it'll go away and I can have a good second and third trimester without feeling sick so that's fingers crossed for that but anyways I wanted to kind of end the vlog with like a question and kind of have a discussion um, down below like a nice discussion um, today we had um, Jalen asked where babies come from and she's asked this before but normally she stops at you know the baby's and mama's tummy and she wanted to know where the baby come came from before then and i said well came from daddy and then the question came up 
well, how does it get from mom to daddy? And that's obviously where we get into the sex area. And I wanted to ask you guys how you handle it. Michael and I have a very different, I feel, because when I talk to other people, that's just based on how, when I talk to other people, how we handle things like that. We are very upfront with our children about everything. Jayla knows what, what a vagina is. She refers to her female body part as a vagina. She knows what a penis is. She knows a male or a boy has a penis. Um, we don't call them weird names. Um, we're very upfront about it. And our reason for that is because we try, or the theory that we have in our head is that it will be normal. So it won't be this weird thing so that, you know, when someone says the word vagina at school, it's not like a funny thing. Um, it's just like, okay, that's what I have. Um, and things like that. So we don't, we try not to lie to her. Of course we do like fib kind of about like Christmas and Santa. I feel like that's different. But, um, you know, I don't want to give her this thing about the stork or anything like that. I don't, I feel like it's, I don't know, it's just not what we're into. Um, and so far it's done this good. So I wanted to ask you guys how you handle it. I, she asked where babies come from. All we simply told her was that, well, you're not old enough to hear about that quite yet, but give it a couple years and we are going to wait probably like a year or so before, um, mainly because I don't think her attention span is good enough um and i don't want this to be a light conversation um so i want to make sure that she can sit down and listen to us talk about it rather than you know two seconds off she's like somewhere else um but we you know we're not going to hide it from her as long as possible because it is a very it's in you know the schools it's happening and to hide it from her i feel like it's just throwing her in you know an innocent girl and she still will be innocent when she knows about it but throwing her in and it's like a deer in the headlights type of situation and I don't want her learning anything about it from some random person in school or you know some shrewd um thing that they have I want her to come to me about it and for her to hear it from us so even if she does hear something weird in school about it um she knows what we told her and then because Jalen is naturally a curious person she would probably come back and and ask questions and then we can answer from there but anyways that's just our parenting like style I guess that's the same thing we are very upfront about things a big thing that's going around is the mom and the gorilla incident sure you guys have heard I'm not going to speak too much about it but um I feel like if I I will say one thing and you can kind of know how I feel about it but a big thing and a reason why I think that it it you know it's a dangerous situation and zoos are dangerous I feel like we we see our children and they watch these shows on tv these cartoons where you have Allie the alligator and Gus the gorilla you know um, I don't, Gus is all I can think of. Gus the gorilla, and they're playing and they're happy and they're dancing with these kids. And our kid, our, our kids watch these things and they see that and they think that alligators and gorillas and lions and snakes and all of these things are nice animals that you can walk up to and pet and have and have a dance party with. And um, I feel like that's a huge problem with with everyone, you know. Um, and for us personally, Jalen knows that. Well, this is pretend. What what you're watching on TV is pretend. When Dora goes and hangs out with these weird animals, she doesn't watch Dora anymore, but that's just what I'm thinking about. Um, when Dora goes and watches these weird animals and hangs out with them, that's pretend. If you go to a real alligator, the alligator will probably bite you. The alligator will probably kill you. Like you, you could die from it. And um, I feel like it's just that's just one more thing. We don't. Jalen knows that those the animals are dangerous she knows and I'm very upfront and I'm very adamant about reminding her that they are dangerous and just because you watch it on tv that is pretend and in real life in real life situations you don't do that um and I don't know it's just it, it just it all kind of goes with the same thing as far as being very upfront with our children and and us trying to let them know um kind of I don't know I guess what what's really happening and what's what's real life anyways I feel like that went on for way too long I wasn't trying to have it go on that for that long but I just wanted to kind of ask you guys I feel like the conversation we have with Jalen or the very small conversation we have with Jalen today mixed with the whole in incident with the zoo uh was it even a gorilla 
yeah, it was a silverback. Um, anyways, I feel like those are kind of on the same thing as far as parenting skills. Um, and it's one of those things. If you don't do those things, it's totally fine. I just think that that's why we, as I basically was explaining that that's why we choose to parent in that style. Um, because I feel like it gives her a good dose of reality. And she still has an imagination. She still, you know, plays with her toys and imagines things and you know watches those shows just fine it's not like you know now she watches those shows and she thinks any different um she just knows that it is pretend and at the end of the day you know on the tv and what's happening right now are, are not the same thing anyways let me know what you guys think and how you guys handle it or um how you will handle it if you're a parent have you have handled it in the past whatever and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I don't even know what's on here, honestly. But, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. I don't know when that will be. I'm going to be completely honest. I have hopes to continue vlogging, like, every day and to get something up. But if that doesn't happen, then it doesn't happen. So, I love you guys. Um, thanks for sticking around with us. Thank you so much for all of the positive, um, comments on us announcing Baby Meets number three. Um... And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.